Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you one of the easiest and most high paying vulnerabilities out there, Blind XSS. Stick around, because I'll walk you through all the methods I use. By the end of this video, you'll be able to master this vulnerability and start earning bounties for sure. As always, remember that ethical hacking requires proper authorization. Make sure you have explicit permission before testing any assets. This video is for educational purposes only. Let's get started. First, I'll demonstrate how to find submit forms using a custom dorking page I created for Blind XSS. These dorks helps locate various types of forms by simply selecting a category. For this proof of concept, let's target the NASA domain. I'll select a category. And now, when I open the resulting link, you can see it has found a contact us page with a submission form. Now, for payload, I'm using a blind XSS reporting website, but you can use any service you prefer. This site provides various payloads and even offers encoding options. I'm also using a browser extension called a blind XSS manager. It's excellent for injecting payloads directly and tracking where they successfully execute. You just need to configure it with your blind XSS server address, just as I've done here. Now I'll pick a payload, paste it into all the input fields on the form and submit it. If some fields have character limits, you'll need to choose a shorter payload or put payloads in different fields. As you can see, the request has been submitted. Let's check a few more categories to show that the dorks are working effectively. Here's another form. This time, I'll paste in a different payload and submit the request. Perfect. It went through without any errors related to character limits or input sanitization. This demonstrates that these dorks are reliable for finding multiple potential targets. Now, let's open the last one. For this form, I'm going to use an iframe payload. And perfect, our request was submitted without any issues. Next. Let's try the match and replace method in Burp Suite. You can access this from the shortcut tab or by going to the proxy settings. Here, we'll configure a rule to automatically replace a part of the request with our payload. For this example, I'll replace the user agent header. You can click test to preview how the modified request will look. Now, let's go back to the form, fill it out and capture the request in Burp. As you can see, our blind XSS payload has been automatically inserted into the user agent header. I'll forward the request and it's submitted successfully. You can also view the modified request in the HTTP history tab to see exactly what was sent to the backend. The reason for using headers is that servers often log this information. If the backend system that processes these logs is vulnerable, our payload will get executed. You can inject payloads into other headers as well, such as referrer, origin, host, or x forwarded for. If you don't want to use Burp Suite every time, you can use a user agent switcher browser extension. Simply copy your blind XSS payload and set it as your custom user agent string, and use this site to verify your user agent. For more automated discovery, you can use a tool like Arjun to find hidden parameters, which might reveal additional forms. You can also use a BXSS one-liner tool for broader testing. With this script, you just need to enter your target domain, add your custom blind XSS payload, and specify which headers you want to inject it into. Once you run it, it will start testing for blind XSS across multiple URLs with all types of request methods. If a payload works, you'll get an alert on your blind XSS dashboard. Now, I'll show you how to execute XSS through a JPEG files XIF metadata. I've set up a simple server for this demonstration. First, let's try uploading a JPEG file modified to contain a simple HTML injection. As you can see, it renders login input boxes on the page. Cool. 
Next, let's try a standard XSS payload, and it works perfectly. Now for a payload that steals the cookie. Amazing, it also works, showing the cookie in a pop-up. Finally, let's embed our blind XSS payload into the image's metadata and upload it. Checking our dashboard, there it is. We received a blind XSS callback with the cookie and session ID. This shows just how powerful attacks using EXIF metadata can be. You can edit this metadata directly in Windows by going to the Image Properties, clicking the Details tab, and pasting your payload into one of the fields. You can also use HTML and SVG payloads, which work very well too. Lastly, I want to show you something more advanced. I've placed all of my blind XSS payloads inside a single HTML file. These payloads are encoded in various ways like double and triple URL encoding. When I open this file on my computer, it executes all of the payloads. I've tested this on a vulnerable site and it successfully executed and gave me dashboard access. The advantage of this method is that if one payload is blocked, it automatically tries the next one, cycling through all the different encodings until it finds one that works. That's a wrap for today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're always updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.